you're all doing very well today. As I'm sure you're all aware, I will not be here for the next two weeks. I have important family matters to take care of, and I'll be out of town in that time. Normally, for things like this, I'd like to be there in person to speak with all of you, but hey, what are you going to do? So I'm having the boys put together this quick little PSA for all of you regarding the state of the restaurant and where things will go from here. So, I'm sure by now all of you have heard the rumors that the restaurant is, well, haunted, for lack of a better term. It would seem to me that word has gotten around rather quickly. Some of our competitors have even started poking fun at us to try and drive off more of our customers. Now, regarding this, I only have one thing to say. Hank's Hot Dogs is not haunted at all, in any way, by any means, and anything you've heard of the contrary is false. Completely, utterly false. Fabricated. Fallacious. Erroneous. Untrue. Wrong. And so on and so forth. So even though Peter says that Hank supposedly activated by himself and tried to attack him while he was doing maintenance work, or Stella says that she's seen ghost children roaming around the building at night, these statements are completely untrue. And if any of your co-workers have been spreading these stories around, they have since been dealt with. Moving on, given our temporary shutdown after the incident from last August, we're going to begin taking steps to prevent such a tragedy from ever taking place again. To this end, we are going to open up a position of night watchmen to keep an eye on the restaurant after hours. So, if you know anyone who may be interested in or has experience in security work, let them know Hank's Hot Dogs is looking for a night guard. Well, that's about it. Let me just reiterate one last time, the restaurant is not haunted. Always remember, we're a family here at Hank's Hot Dogs. If you think you see something that may be a sign of paranormal activity, not that it is, just if you think it is, don't be afraid to document it and send it to me or a future night guard. We'll make sure it gets reviewed by the proper authorities. Have a good day, and I'll see all of you in two weeks. Sir, who exactly is going to review that evidence? No one. Are you crazy? Any evidence they turn in, I'm going to lock in my vault. You think I want anyone finding out that the restaurant's haunted? Get out of here. Um, Mr. Darnell? Yes? The camera. Oh shit, is it still rolling? Hello, and welcome to your new job as a night watchman at Hank's Hot Dogs. This tape is meant to prepare you for your new and arduous tasks as our night watchman. The first thing we must get across is this. You are not allowed to speak of anything you may witness or encounter during your tenure at Hank's Hot Dogs. You are not allowed to speak with friends, family, co-workers, or insurance representatives about anything you may witness or encounter during your tenure at Hank's Hot Dogs. All right. Now that that's out of the way, uh... Okay, so, basically, the restaurant is like... Super haunted. Your primary task as the night watchman is to catalog evidence of paranormal activity and report it to... Mr. Cecil Darnell. From your office you will have access to our brand new surveillance system through which you are to monitor the restaurant and... More importantly, our animatronic band. At the end of your shift, you are to remove the surveillance tapes and, after reviewing them, place them in one of two bins. Ordinary footage and spooky footage. I think it's pretty obvious which goes in which. Oh, and I guess you also have to do normal security work, but, like, the main thing we're paying you for is collecting ghost evidence. Oh, also? Don't tell anyone your job is collecting ghost evidence. We really don't want people finding out that the restaurant is haunted, so just like, keep it on the down low. Cool? Cool. As your shift progresses, it is likely that you will hear strange noises that seem to emanate from within the building, including but not limited to... Stripping metal. Lively music. Disembodied voices. Hey, hey, 
Jane, Jane, wake up. Uh, huh? Tommy, what is it? Hey, so like, I just had a weird thought. What is it? If you die and you get reincarnated as like a bear or something, does that mean your mind switches from like a human brain to a bear brain? Or can you still think like a human? You just can't control what you do and you act like a bear. What? You know, if you get reincarnated, does your human brain become an animal brain? Or do you still think like yeah, a human? Yeah, I know what you mean, but what kind of question is that? And how am I supposed to know the answer? All right, all right, calm down. I have another question. What is it? Okay, so, you know how there's soup, right? And there's also stew. Oh my god. What's the difference? Tommy, just shut up. That's the dumbest thing you've ever asked me. <laughs> well, excuse me for trying to kill some time around here. Well, go kill time somewhere else. Go talk to or something. I don't want to talk to Well, too bad. Leave me alone. Tommy, Danny, I finally got the stuff away. I just saw this rat in half. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she put the fuck. Of course, my ex-girlfriend never did forget about the hot fudge Sunday incident, but that's besides the point. Anyway, moving on. There have been reported incidents where our animatronics have supposedly moved around at night, often following workers. If there is a situation when one of our animatronic mascots becomes active in the middle of the night and wanders around, lock your doors and do not engage with them. Honestly, most of the time they show up and just kind of pester you. They don't really have much else to do, I suppose. Nevertheless, keep your doors locked and don't respond to them. Eventually they will get bored and go back to chatting amongst themselves. While most of our animatronics pose very little threat to your health and safety, one of them, Hang Hot Dog, is notably much more aggressive and hostile towards staff and patrons alike. Remember, under no circumstances, That's just great. Man, Satan's gonna kill me when I tell him I screwed up this time. I really don't want to deal with all that, man. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going out my way, alright? I cannot deal with Satan's bullshit right now. Might as well just give up and take- Alright, that's it! We're coming in on the count of three! One! Two. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, hold on, don't come in yet. Why not? Uh, because I gotta go to the bathroom. What? Really? Yeah, uh, think I could take a leak real quick? I'll come out when I'm done. Mm. Well, alright, but if you're not out in five minutes, we're coming in. No funny business. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Thank you so much, officer. Uh, but before I do that, I should let you know something. Yeah? What is it? Um, how do I put this? I'm not exactly, uh... Um, you see, I'm... I'm not really... Not really what? Come on, man, say it! Ah, uh, never mind. It's way too complicated. Forget about it. This concludes your orientation. Stay safe and have a good night. Night.
Come on, man. It's two in the morning. You can't just start playing the greatest hits, the roaring 20s in there. It's late. <laughs> Honestly, the nerve of some people. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that robot was haunted, and that's why he keeps playing music all on his own every night. Luckily, the boss told me this restaurant wasn't haunted, and he seems like a really trustworthy guy. I should know. I'm a great judge of character. Oh shit, what happened? Why won't you turn on? Hold on, man. Just gotta get my light to work. Yeah, just... Come on. Give me a second. Dude, I said wait. Now hold on. What if I had to swap the battery? There we go, that should do it. Uh, dude, can you not stand so close to me? Personal space, man. Darnell, long time no see. Sure you remember me? I'm Lieutenant Steve Forskin. Yes, it's a silly name. No, it's not spelled the way you think it's spelled. Please don't laugh. Uh, this is my partner, Detective Ryan Johnston. Hey, I own this fucking town. Okay, it's all down, Johnston. We're just here to ask you a few questions. Is this about the 1986 incident? Listen, I already told you I had nothing to do with that. No, no, there's nothing to do with that. Although that case is still ongoing, for your information. Mr. Darnell, do you by chance know anything about what happened to Joe Lorenzo and Raymond Diggle on the night of May 16th? What? No. I don't even know who those people are. Why do you ask? Well, it's a funny thing, Mr. Darnell. You see, on that night, those two boys broke into your old restaurant, Hank's Hot Dogs. The following morning, they were reported missing to our department. They haven't been seen since. Really? Yeah, 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 it looks a little fucked up, let me tell ya. But you know what's more fucked up? Then I'm not running this bitch in my town like I should be. I belong Justin. to that fucking chief's chair. I'm Justin. Ryan Johnston, and not a fucking- Johnston! Enough! We're in the middle of an interrogation here, can you please just be quiet? Hey, fuck you. You look shocked, Mr. Darnell. Something wrong? It's just... a damn shame those boys haven't been found yet. So, you wouldn't know anything about why they went missing? Or what they were doing in your restaurant to begin with? No. Of course not. Fuck it, pussy. Alright, Mr. Darnell. I want you to take a look at something. Some of our officers were investigating your restaurant after those kids went missing. And they found something interesting in an old storage room. A camcorder that belonged to one of the boys. Luckily for us, they managed to capture everything that transpired that night. I want you to watch the footage. I want you to pay very close attention to it. This is ridiculous. I demand to speak with my lawyer after you watch this tape. Justin, bring it in. Uh, are you ordering me? Do you know who I am? Not again. I'm Ryan fucking Johnston. Yeah, yeah, I know. You own the town, whatever. Just go to your job. I own this fucking town. It's my fucking name. Ignore him. He's got an ego the size of Eurasia. Takes the boss around here just because he changed his last name to Johnston. Hey, don't worry about it. So, uh, that boombox over there. I used to play moody noir crime music. Helps me relax. Well, seems like you really enjoy your job here, Lieutenant. Just remember who it is that got it for you. Hey, I got the shit, boss. 
Lincoln. I still have this kid from the evidence room. Rhonda thought I couldn't find it and was looking for him. But I found it. All on my own. Didn't need her help. Hey, uh, Lieutenant. What's he doing there? Hey, glasses. What's he doing? Uh, I... I don't know. Play the tape. Oh, shit, he got in. Oh, hey, man, you want some of this? No thoughts at all, Mr. Darnell? I can't believe that this happened. All right, all right. Enough with that I don't know where to think stick. Just tell us where you're hiding the bodies, you sicko. Justin, go to the corner. Hey, what's it to you, Lieutenant? Now. Let me ask you, Mr. Darnell. Why is it that you kept that old restaurant around anyway? According to what I've read, you put a stop to multiple attempts to condemn and demolish the building. You don't seem to be doing anything with it. Why is that? Lieutenant, what I choose to do with my property is entirely my business. Well... Two kids break into your property and disappear under mysterious circumstances. It becomes our business. You know, Mr. Darnell, you're going to be in a lot of trouble if those boys turn up hurt. Or worse, dead. We're talking some serious jail time. Plus the lawsuit that'd be filed against your entire business. How's that sound to you? It sounds to me like you're anxious to press charges on me without any concrete evidence that anything happened to those boys. Oh. Damn. Well, it sounds to me like you willingly kept dangerous equipment in an unsecure area, and if those kids are dead, it'd be due to your own negligence. Oh, damn. Thank you, Johnston. Hey, 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 it's what we do with the JPD, the Ryan Johnston Police Department. Shut up, Johnston. Hey, fuck you. <sighs> gentlemen, gentlemen, let's talk about this. Maybe there's a little something that can convince you not to fall through with this investigation. Uh, like what? You know, a good friend Benjamin, good friends Grant, Jackson, Hamilton. Maybe they could convince you. Who the fuck are they? Money. I'm talking about money. I'm offering to bribe you. Oh, hey, 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 why didn't you say so in the first place? Hey. What do you say? Huh, foreskin? Forget it, Darnell. You can't make me fall for that again. I'm not playing to any of your little tricks. And neither is my partner. Uh, actually, I'm up for it. Wait, what? Justin, you can't be serious. Oh, I'm super serious. Eyeglasses, how much you talking here? You can't just take a bribe from him, Justin. Hey, why not? It's a free country. It's America. What the hell does that have to do with anything? You know, Foreskin, maybe you should listen to your partner. Stay out of this. Why are you always like this, man? Hey, fuck you. You don't get to talk to me like that. I'm Ryan Johnson. I'm taking the bribe. You are not taking anything. I'm taking the fucking bribe. Fuck you. I'm Ryan Johnson, and no one gets to boss me around. Well, eh, except that one time. Johnson, quiet. Mr. Darnell, thank you for your time. You may leave now. You're making a big mistake, Foreskin. I bet there are a lot of people who want your job right now. And I'm sure your higher-ups would love to know about how you took that bribe back in 75. I was a rookie cop back then. I was young. I was ambitious. You took advantage of that. Not anymore. We leave now, Mr. Darnell. Once again, I'd like to remind you, if those boys are found dead, you're in some real deep water. Fucking boys can always ruin it. Shit to the fucking... Justin, a word. Hey, hey, go fuck yourself. All right, Johnson, what the fuck was that? I'm Ryan Johnson. I want the money. I need money. Oh, <laughs> 
what happened to those kids. You don't have any proof of anything. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine, Cecil. They don't have anything. They don't have any proof. Except for the cameras that I had installed in Hank and the others back in 86 as part of my stupid improved security routine. God damn it! Why the hell is all this coming back to bite me now? <sighs> One thing's obvious. Can't afford to keep Hank and the others around anymore. I gotta get that camera inside his head and destroy it. Then, once all this blows over, I need to decommission him. I can't do it by myself. I need someone who can work Mason's machines, and someone who will blindly follow my orders without question. <sighs> no other choice. I need Johnny's help for this one. <sighs> All right. Let's call him. Oh, <laughs> 